Just a man or a superman, the man we turn to for the plan. Who are you? Just a man or a superman, the man we need to take a stand. Outrageous! Oh. Wait, he's who doing what? Where? Why? Okay, so we talk about, you know, like games and stuff. Well, not games. We talk about like DC and Marvel. That was the whole point of the segment. Just up for Dale, too. Um, I think Dale's coming back, but he's just going like, to mute himself. Too easy. Alrighty, so I'm like, turn you back up onto like, no, nope, there's that crackling again. You're going to stay on, you're going to stay on 20. Okay. I can barely hear you, but this will work. This will work. <laughs> if not, just like, get like Dale to translate. Yeah, I'll probably just do that because no way I can, like, my ears will die if I only hear you crackling and shit. I think it's like a slight crackle. Okay, like, anyway. Like... Hello, welcome, guys, to the Banana Cast segment. This will be, um, this segment, sorry, will be about uh, us talking about Marvel, DC, and other uh, comic book related things, possibly games, uh, or maybe game related uh, comic books, comic book related games. All right, so to get this started, uh, my name is... Thank you. What's your name? You, like, cut out, but I'm, I, I got to the gist of it. I'm James. Yes, he is James, and I am the man known as that guy. Okay, you just... I'm unknown. That's, that's the way it's going to be. I'm going to be cool until, like, the end of the video where someone will say my name. You realize as soon as Dale comes back, he's probably going to say your name. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Anyway, so how do you want to start this off? Are we going to start off with a debate or an argument? Because or... <laughs> normally it must not come to start with our okay. areas. Okay. There's Dale. What do you think about the DC Rebirth saga that involves the Watchmen? Mm. I've, I've, like, legit not followed it. Last, last, uh... thing I heard, last thing I heard, Batman from, like, the comedian's pin or something. That was, like, the Wait. first, like, issue or something. <laughs> I've, okay. I've it so, essentially, the most recent thing that's happened that I'm aware of is that Flash... Because Flash found another one. He found a oh, different one. Of course, because Flash fucks up everything. Well, yeah, this whole thing is Flash's fault. I'm aware of how... Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously, it's it annoys me. Kind of like, Flash's fault. It is. If he, so what he decided to do is, hey, I'm going to go run back and, um, and then he screws up everything. And thus we have Flashpoint. Oh, man. It annoys me that started, that one character. Like, it's, I like then the started it's the New 52, and then we have DC of Rebirth, because no one liked the New 52. Okay, let's never talk... Let's, from now on, let's not talk about the New 52 at all before I... Yeah, it's, it's, it's pre-crisis. Terrible. Pre-crisis, which was up to 2009. Okay. And then we got... Rebirth, which started last year. It's not Rebirth. Isn't too bad, but I mean, they should just. No, re- Rebirth is good. Look, I'm not. I'm not dissing it. I don't mind it. It's just that uh, the fact that oh, Flash was like, <laughs> look, I like the way they've done it. Is that oh, one character because they're all linked. Like they're all meant to be linked, which is fine. Like I like the way they've done that. Like yeah. one character gone back and fucked up everything, and they oh look, the rest of it's like that makes sense. That's fine. How the hell does him saving his mum? Because you're to Bruce dying, and then like oh, a bunch of other stuff annoys me. Just that, that annoys me. Like him yeah. saving his mum suddenly kills Bruce, and then does stuff to Optimus, and then like, Wonder Woman. And then, oh, I don't know. I don't it's, know how. It's, the, it's the butterfly effect. Haven't you played until dawn? Every decision counts. That's Every fine. Decision. Every decision counts, but I don't see how he saving his mum or whatever. He saved his mother, uh, and uh. Batman and, dies, or like yeah, Bruce dies. Yeah, he saved his mother, and uh, and she she didn't bump into Joe Chill. He was so upset that he that he shot Thomas and Martha. Instead, he just shot Bruce. That's that's what that's what happened. It all makes sense. Ah, oh, it doesn't like you it. Know, <laughs> you're just not reading close enough. That's the thing. It's not that. I just don't like the way it's done. Like I don't. Look, I don't care. It doesn't, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Annoying yeah, regardless. Me. Regardless. So, Flash and Batman each have a comedian button. It's a magic um, button. But, uh, Flash... Technically, kind of, yeah. 
Batman thinks that um, it comes from an alternate universe. Is Batman? Yeah. So knowing Flash, he can tap into the frequency of anything using the cosmic treadmill. Oh, ding 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 ding! Oh, cosmic treadmill. Yep. That is the uh, latest sentence ever. If you don't know comic books, <laughs> the cosmic treadmill. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's been around since like the fifties. What do you expect? I mean, Adam, it couldn't have been the cosmic shoes no. or like the cosmic <laughs> show. The cosmic shoes sounds stupid too. If you if it's cosmic and the next word isn't like epic, then okay. it's not cosmic. Well, yeah, but this was this was the Silver Age. Shit got weird. That I mean, was was the uh, was the bad cow from the Silver Age? Yeah. No, bad cow. Bad cow is these days. Bad cow. Bad cow. Bat bat cow. cow. <laughs> How have we not heard of bad cow? I think I've heard about. I don't know what it is. Um, Man Three. No, Damien Wayne. He saved a cow from a slaughterhouse. As you do. Yeah, well, and wait, then. Wait, wait, Damien. Like, yeah, Damien. Uh, so like, 2010. I thought this thing was like ancient. What? No. Fucking no. bad cow. Yeah, he's, he's new. Ah, oh, it's it's strange. And then we got Pennyworth the cat. Oh god. And then we got Pennyworth Titan. The clown. <laughs> Titan the dog. And it's me, the, the giant demon bat. Join. So wait, so, so there's three jokers, right? That that was like big, like reveal. Wasn't it like four? What? Wait, no, there are few. Like, there's three jokers, aren't there? No. What? Yeah, no. There's five jokers actually. There's, there's, five seven, jokers. there's several, and uh, uh, like all consistently, what they all say as soon as they all see Batman all at once, it's me, the Joker. It's, it's like one second, one second difference of each of them. It's like it's 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 it's, it's me, the Joker. Like, just constantly. I'm so confused. Go, girl. No. So, this... Doesn't Batman find out there's three Jokers? Does that not happen? Three Jokers? Three, three, three Jokers what? Doesn't okay. Batman go... Doesn't he, like, find out there's three Jokers? I not that I know. I swear to God that happened. I'm not making that up. There's three Jokers. The most controversial thing about Joker that I know is that he has a bit of Lazarus pit in his spine, which is why he's uh, never actually died. As you do. Like, jo- Joker is actually immortal. Mm, he, uh, but how was that put in there? Da, 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 da. He was born with it. No, it was a joke. I, I, I'm aware. I'm, I'm, I was joking. God. I was, like, no. suspensing it. How many genders are there? I was going to look up how many Jokers are there. Genders. Who could Did be you... the three jokers? See, the Mobius chair says there's three jokers. The, the Mobius chair. What is the Mobius chair overall? Oh, hey, okay. Hey, hey, guys, before we move on, I just want to point out something. What? I looked up how many jokers and it came up with genders instead, so I found this. Oh, I love that image. I mean, I don't understand it. How is it a That's thing? That's Frankenstein happened, dude. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Okay, so you see... Uh, the completely blue dude with the pink leg. Yeah. I like to picture those as giant buff biker guy with, like, a prostitute's leg. Like, fishnets. Oh, like, Patrick. Like, yeah. Like, Patrick uh, during, uh, the Goofy Goop Rock bit. Where he has, that's, like, exact, that's exactly what it's like. Okay, so does that mean the guys with, like, the completely blue, then pink, and then the completely, like, pink with blue? Does that make them, like... That their faces have just been like made it look like the opposite sex. That's a legit. That's a legitimate thing. People think though, that like different parts of their bodies, like a different gender, right? That is not a thing. Come on, that, that, that can't is, be a thing. That is almost certainly a thing. No, that yeah. can't. If, if that's a thing, if that's that is absolutely a thing. Ahmed, I'll have you know that my left leg identifies as a female. Oh my it god, kill me! by what you just said. <laughs> Good. That can't be. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want not to say that? My left pinky will get offended. <laughs> oh my god. Specifically, <laughs> left pinky. You know the rest of the rest of me's man, but that one pink, the toenail of that pink chick. The to- I said the toenail of my pinky. Yep. <laughs> you like, me. There's a name for those. Yeah, toenail. Phalanges. The phalanges. <laughs> No wait, damn it! Let me wait. No, go back. We'll talk about. Uh, 
Oh god, I can't get over this. This is so stupid. Oh my god, there's so there's no way there was this many gems. Oh, this is accepted. It's 2017. <laughs> Um, probably gonna trigger all your like 200 subscribers. Um, um, just accept, just accept that my right ear is and my left ear isn't. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell? Gender, third gender, and demi girl. Oh, you're going down the rabbit hole. I don't people even. Are gonna, know. People are gonna click on this video. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, cool comic books, and then 10 minutes in, we're gonna be talking about like gender studies. Okay, you know, that's enough. Let's get back to comic books before, like, I'd be going some kind of rant. Okay, how's Marvel? Most... How is Marvel doing? Uh... Okay. All new, all different Marvel also known as Marvel now. Oh, no. um, I think the most popular series at the moment is Gwenpool. Oh. Because, like, it's, it's pretty much living up to everyone's fantasy, like, getting sucked into the comic book world. Oh, uh, is that Gwenpool? Yep. It's so, like you know oh, every superhero and every supervillain's identity. You get to choose who you're after. Yeah. Does she have a messed up face? Oh, well, no, she, no, she doesn't. She's normal. She just really likes Deadpool comics, so she made a costume like Deadpool. It's Gwen Stacy, right? Gwen no. Stacy. Okay, no, it's Gwen someone else, but she essentially she looks a lot like Gwen Stacy. And uh, she's, yeah, I guess. It, it currently seems like she's going to be the love interest of, um, uh, Angelica Miles Morales. Is... No, Miles Morales, Spider Man. Oh, that would make sense, except for one thing. Doesn't he have that other chick? I mean, probably. It's, he's a Spider Man character. There, yeah, he gets all the puss. Exactly. Yeah. It's common knowledge. How many girlfriends did he have? Ten over the years. Which one? Uh, Parker? Yeah, Parker. Uh, was Liz Allen? Liz was Allen. That just, was... No, that, that was the thing. Be Betty, ben, Betty Brant, Jane. Gwen Stacy's Mary Jane. The black chick. De uh, Deborah Whitman, Gloria Grant. I said that's a black chick. Okay, but um, what the hell? The is... Felice, black cat. Oh, uh, yeah, Felicia Hardy. Felicia Hardy's the best around. She's, she's cat one, but she's... harder because she has white hair. Oh yeah, you God. can't go wrong with that. She's she, old, but not old. She's, she's got old. I thought she was like a teenager. Oh, uh, it depends what you're looking at. No, she's 20 like, or she could be a teenager. No, she's in like 20s, mid 20s. Oh, yeah, mid 20s. Is she? Yeah. Well, was she even when she like first met like theater yeah. when he was like a teen? Yeah, she was like perfect. 20s. Yeah. But that's thing, when you look at like, when you look at it, it's like, oh, wow. Mm, what a prime piece of man. Look at all the things he can do. And it's like, oh, oh sound like 17. Shit. The whole story there is she likes Spider Man and Peter Buck, right? That's like the whole yeah. thing. Like when, they, when yeah, she finds she... out what he actually is, she's just like, nope, I ain't a part of this. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly her reaction. She likes the mystery behind it, which is why she only likes um, Spider Man, not Peter. When she found out, she was like, oh, Hannah. Has she ever interacted? Is there? Okay. So, there's an ultimate black cat, right? Yes, but not that I know anything about, because I stopped caring about my ultimate Marvel after the ultimatum. <laughs> you mean you don't like Magneto, like, reversing the pose with Thor's hammer? Oh, yeah. yeah I, 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 I don't even... I hate the ultimatum. You don't like... Are you telling me, Jamie, you don't like gathering around the whole family and watching Blob, like, devour Wasp? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me that's not the way you said that he devours a wall. He does. He, so you can he see does. I bones. know, but I mean, like you tell me, you tell me that's not you know that's not one to write home about. I mean, a, you don't want to show your parents, like, mum, this is what I'm into now. Oh uh, yes. Tell me, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna see that. Wolverine, seeing Wolverine disintegrated into nothing but a drop of blood, and then resurrect and then himself. That's amazing. I don't care what anyone says. Could Wolverine re like re recreate himself from one like strand of DNA? No, it was a cell, wasn't it? He's yeah, one one red blood cell. That he is so makes no stupid. Sense. That is yeah, so like... dumb. It's amazing. But, like, I thought his I thought his healing powers came from his brain, though. It no, does, they come no, from that does. one red blood cell. Well, technically, <laughs> it does come from his brain, but yeah, but that's the thing. Like him regening his body. Sure, I'm fine with that. How does but he not his memory. 
No. How does he generate an entire skeleton? Magic. Like, I'm fine with him being a gelatinous blob on the ground. <laughs> but... Doesn't the blood spell contain DNA and that DNA tells the rest of you what to do or something? I'm not a biologist. I don't, think, I don't know what blood don't, does. I don't, I don't think DNA is smart enough to reform an entire, like, body. DNA, yeah, because it's what a living this? thing to have a he brain. He, he didn't have the... He wouldn't have had the adamantium when he regenerated, would he? No. Oh, he well, that's no. arguable, because they they're right, talking I about, think... like, he would, like, the that's bonded to him now, like... Because of his regenerative abilities, it's bonded to him and his regenerative abilities, so it comes okay. back, but not as strong as them. No, essentially, well, I would... What about... Because, like, you know, you guys have seen the Wolverine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, he gets his claws... And then, and then when he comes back, and then all of a sudden, they're back. But they're bone. Yeah. So, essentially, what, like... It's it's not bonded to... It's a coating. Yeah. Like, his skeleton is... We've talked about this, haven't we? Yeah, I know we've talked about this. His skeleton isn't adamantium, it's just coated. In adamantium, so like... what would happen is... Delicious chocolate coating. Yeah, exactly. pretty much. Like, you know, that chocolate, chocolate like... coating was impenetrable. <laughs> yeah, I found out what my superpower should be. I'm going to be covered in delicious coating. I'm oh, Wolverine, Frank. but I'm made of chocolate. <laughs> you would die. Good. Instead of Magneto being able to like rip it up, Pyro would be able to melt it. What? Are we talking about his, like his skeleton or him? Didn't it? Magneto ripped the adamantium out of Wolverine's body, right? Yeah, yeah the skeleton. skeleton. And then Jean Grey kept him together long enough using her telekinesis for, to, like, healing for him to reform. Yeah. This is pretty interesting. You think if they left him as a skeleton, okay. he would have regenerated? No, that's what I love. Like, through everyone that did die in Ultimatum Wave, Jean Grey survived. Yeah, but no, yeah, but she's like, oh, what's the word? She she's is so she, bullshit. She she's has been died. dead for a while in 616, hasn't she? She has died, yeah, she has, but she's been revived over 13 times. Of course she Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it's Marvel. No one ever, like, if they isn't, held funerals, it'd be useless. They're wasting money. Isn't Jean Grey, like, one of the most, like, killed off characters? Yeah. She probably. has to be, like, number one. I think she is. Like, 13 deaths. Oh, like, unless yeah, she count yeah. every single clone of multiple men as one. No, that does no, not count. No. Oh, <laughs> that was uh, you know, I just thought of, you know, you know Spider-Man, right? You know the whole, yeah. like, Spider-Island? Yeah, yeah, I know Spider-Man. <laughs> I've heard of them. No, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, like, like the Spider-Island thing. Well, where everyone gets vaguely. Yeah, like, where everyone gets Spider-Powers and then gets turned to like, giant spiders or something. Yeah, and then Spider Man's evil clone. Yeah. First amazing. redemption. Like, Spider Man's first evil clone goes redemption. Yeah, clone. by killing yeah. the queen with his, like, what are they, the claws that come out of him? Yeah, because he was the tarantula at the time. Yeah, and then, do you know what's really funny? Spider Man vaguely mentions, oh, yeah, been there, done. But then after that, he just never uses them. Like, they don't exist. Like, oh, yeah, been there, I've got them. Okay, okay, okay. Like, he touches so, face, but after that, it. Ben Riley Scarlet Spider had the coolest costume, right? Ben Riley. Oh, yeah, Scarlet Spider. Spider. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's gotta be up there. It's gotta be up there. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty it's cool. Simplistic. Yeah. I like it, but I mean, it depends. Well, on, there's a few of them because you get like a few different variations. The one. Oh, wait, I'll get like a picture of the one. Wait, is that one the blue? Like the blue? He's like a blue hoodie on. Yeah, that is that the one you're thinking of? Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, eh. No, it is good. And look, I'm it's not saying it's, it's all right, but I mean, it's not the best. I like Spider Man 2099 too, actually. Oh, everyone, 2099 is pretty everyone, cool. Everyone likes 2099. O'Hare is What's pretty cool. Name? Yeah. Miguel O'Hara. Pretty cool. I used to watch a YouTuber back in like, back in the old days, 2008. And it was, um,. Oh, what was his name? He used to do like one on one videos about uh about like superheroes. His name oh was, my like, god, Spectacular Spider Man Scarlet Spider. That didn't happen, did it? No, no, but look at it. I found they, I found someone like yeah, who no, knows. I, I know, but that I don't remember that happening. Oh, if that did, that'd be cool. Wait, what? What happened? In Spectacular Spider Man, they added like a Scarlet Spider Spider Man. If oh, that kept going, right. that would have been so if good. Any, if anyone could have kept, if anyone could have made like the Clone Saga good, 
would've it would have been. been. Yeah. Okay. There's something but, really wrong with the Clone Saga. It was. Like, yeah, but I mean, it's so nineties. Like, it's so nineties. It's it's like it's like the comic it. version of Sailor Moon. It's <laughs> too nineties. I guess it, actually, I guess the comic version of Sailor Moon would be the manga, but whatever. Am I gonna, am I gonna get like crucified because I called a manga a comic book? Mm, probably, but you've only got two hundred subs. So I think you're right. Well, no, because you ain't no, you, like, you, you despise filthy weebs, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Say, but apparently, apparently he is one now. <laughs> apparently you are a weeb now, so apparently. welcome. I mean... Welcome I to the apparently weeb right now, club. If I look up my head right now, there's a Sailor Moon poster. So... Okay, not even I've gone that far. And I also am resting my microphone on a D- on a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of a show, True. of an obscure show. What I am. So you're a weed now. I'm sorry. There's no other way of putting it. Whatever. Fine. Well then, yeah, you're gonna get crucified. For a comic. Like if you were just some random guy who just said that, like not knowing me, like he doesn't. I feel like a random guy would be more likely to be like ripped apart for it than like a fellow otaku. Oh, don't call yourself an otaku, please. <laughs> no. I hate the word. I'd sooner die. I'd rather, like, get crucified than hear the word otaku. Uh, Actually, the Clone Saga started in 1975. Did it? 19- oh, that was, like, the first one, though, wasn't it? So, like, Kane, yeah. Scott, and Spider stuff didn't happen until 90s. Oh, spectacular spider was so goddamn good. It was. Oh, da 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 um, uh, yeah. yeah, look, there it is. Has it loaded? Yeah, it has. I... That was episode yeah, I like one it. of Ultimate. You know what I just thought of? What? Like, if you if you got spider power, then how would I know? Fucking jump on the roof or something. What? What? I what situation would lead to me jumping on the roof? You get scared because you're a little bitch and you jump so high you land on the roof. Okay, I can, I get like spidey sense and I can tell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Sure, let's go with that. So you're on the roof and you're like, oh, this is so cool. And all of a sudden, you know, you're just climbing shit and whatnot. I wouldn't. I would be scared. I would be terrified. I would oh, be really? If I, I, if I work I would, up with spider powers, I I've thought about it so much. This is sad. From the time I was like five, six, from the time I could speak, really, and I found out Spider-Man was a thing, I've thought of so many different things I could do with his powers. I'm like, mm, mm. like... Oh, it's a, I don't know. Don't, don't question. Mary Jane. No, no, don't. No. <laughs> this just got really intense. Oh. It's just got real Spider Man oh. rain. But, like, okay, so. Oh, so, God. Spectacular Spider Man, Earth Mighty Heroes. Probably tied. I would lean more towards Spectacular Spider Man being best Marvel uh, uh, TV pers- show. I think they're on there. Like, they're both pretty good. I personally would choose uh, Earth Mighty Heroes. Mm. I like. That's I think I like Spectacular Spider-Man more because it's more like, I guess, focused. Um, See, that's me, the thing. I'd, I, say, I'd say Spectacular Spider-Man because of like my personal love for Spider-Man, like yeah. everything I, about him. I love team stuff. Like I love seeing like. Yeah. Oh, you like, one of those people. I I love the Justice <laughs> League cartoon. Like, Justice, Justice League cartoon League. was great though. Um, has anyone seen this? Like the people argue like on the internet, like, oh, wouldn't it be really cool to see the Avengers and the Justice League fought? And I'm like, doesn't the Justice League have like the whole planet worth of heroes? I think they uh, mean like core members, though. I think they mean core members. No, because they didn't. Okay, let's just say they didn't, and they meant like just in general. Like that's a whole planet worth of heroes. Well, I mean, it's still a lot from both sides. Yeah. True, but I mean, a whole planet worth of heroes. Wasn't there, wasn't there a period of time where the Justice League was just a bunch of Melvins no one cared about, though? A bunch of Melvins, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they were. include all those guys, but, like, the Hulk would sneeze and it would blow them off the planet, and then we'd get down to the good stuff, you know? Okay, oh, but no, if we're doing... Is it Marvel now? 
I don't know. That's, I'm, just, not, I'm not sure. Like, if it's Marvel now versus D3, D3 Rebirth, the Justice League will destroy them. Yeah, but because, like, cool. Bruce, ba- Bruce Banner is dead. Yeah. Amadeus Cho as the Hulk. He's not that who is a 15-year-old kid. Who sucks. Yeah, no one likes Amadeus, sure. Everyone wants him to leave, but no. The only, the only one of these, like, new, like, people who take the mantle that I've heard, like, positive things about is, like, Kamala Khan and, uh, Miles Morales. Miles Morales um, was good, though. Oh, yeah, Miles good. Morales came, yeah, that's what, that's and he I'm walked into the universe, and everyone just accepted it, like, we wanted this. We're like, oh, Man, thank God. It was cool. But, um, I've only ever heard people say they want the original Thor back. I've not heard many good things about, like, Jane Foster Thor. Oh. Jane Foster, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Sam Alexander Nova. Mm. Nah. No, I, I, not, okay. not no. He would be good if people cared about Nova more. <laughs> Like, how many people can sit and go, oh my god, Nova's so, like, my favourite. Yeah, you can, like, rattle off some great, like, Nova villains. No (laughs) one Okay, we could, could, but I mean, other people. Like, normie people. What, you guys don't, you guys don't want to prattle on for an hour about Dick Ryder? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, look, don't get me, don't get me wrong, I could, but why? That's a waste of my hour. I could be talking about Spider-Man instead. What the hell? Who has the best rugs gallery? Best rugs. <laughs> rugs. Oh, best rugs. rugs. Um, <laughs> oh, Batman has the best rugs. Batman would have the best rugs because he has the most money. Yeah, he makes him have the best Turkish material. Oh my god, wait, can I just say <sighs> my favorite storyline like ever is when Spider-Man was so poor he had to take like an advertising deal with a car company. Oh, the car company, yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> he got like a Spider-Man drive. car. But that he couldn't even amazing. drive. That That's was the best, best comic book moment ever. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. <laughs> oh, guys, guess what I just found? Oh, God. No, 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 you, you guys are going to like this. So, imagine if Spider-Man yeah, getting... could climb things but had no webs. So this is how, this is how we, uh, he acts. So he doesn't have webs, but he can climb on tall buildings. He like, doesn't so have webs. So it's essentially it's Spider-Man strange. without his costume. It's a wingsuit. Yes. Yes, it is. How's he climbing up buildings then? Because he's still got his climbing. Actually, can we talk about that? Through his whole costume, how the hell does he climb? It's the, on his uh, fingers and stuff, but how the hell the, does he go through his suit? The stuff, the stuff, uh, the fabric on his fingers is very thin. Yeah, Ahmed. It's spandex. I just made, I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know. The, okay, um, that's fine, but like. like there's a reason the spandex sp- stereotype exists. Because of Spider Man. It's, it's just comfortable. No, it's not. It's really not. I've never been in spandex before, so I don't know. Don't, 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 don't wait, don't. don't <laughs> spandex don't. is comfortable. Mm, it rides up in your balls. Absolutely, but it's comfortable. That's, that's the fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the best bit. That makes me moist. Everything makes you moist, Jamie. <laughs> I am Aquaman. Do you guys remember that one time that Aquaman ordered fish and chips? Yes. <laughs> No, I don't. Uh, yeah, he, he like he just went to like um this restaurant on a boardwalk pier, and he wanted lunch, so he stops in. He's like, "Can I get that fish and chips, please?" And everyone just sort of stares at him, and it's like, "You can't order that. You talk to fish." And he just look, he just gets so offended. He's like, "I don't talk to fish." I can I mean, hear it. I'm 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 trying to find it. It's so good. Is this like an episode of fucking uh, Teen to Go where Aqua Lad orders like crab or something and it was his best friend and he eats him? <laughs> Guarantee I'm gonna get crucified mentioning Teen Titans Go. I, 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 I gotta say it, I gotta say it. It's Teen not Titans bad. Go. Teen Titans Go. I I enjoy Teen Titans Go more than the original series. Okay, kill yourself. <laughs> No, entertaining to me. The if Teen Titans, if Teen Titans kept going and it wasn't ended, like it didn't stop, it would be good. The thing that is, like, it has one, it had one more planned season to go. But no, God forbid, girls buy toys. I don't even think that they wanted to run another season. The voice actors were just done. (laughs) No, the voice actors want season five, don't they? I was making a joke. Come fuck that, man. 
Oh my god, I was hoping, like, is that hate for Teen Titans Go would have died down, but there's still people who are like, Cartoon Network needs to cancel it right now. It's like, why would they do that? Yeah, what would, making what, money from what it. Would Cartoon, yeah, what would Cartoon Network have to gain from stopping airing it? I don't talk to fish. Yeah, you do, Aquaman. So everybody knows Aquaman talks to fish. Okay, no, he doesn't talk to fish. He, he, he gets into their minds. He, co- he communicates with them. No, no. I reach into... Quote, I reach into their... Uh, I reach into their holes. <laughs> I reach into their holes. No, that's really terrible quote, Adam. I should say that. That should be the tagline for the Aquaman movie. Reach into the hole. Reach into the hole. I actually love Aquaman so much. He's pretty. Thing, he had to bathe in people's blood. Really bad, like Halloween outfit of Aquaman. Okay, that are, like, dude. Blue and green. Jamie, Jamie, I your found it. Mics, your mic is like really glitching out. Yeah, it's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen to this. I reach into their my midbrains and tele- telepathically push them to help me out. Squids, sharks, eels, it's all the same. Their dolphins are another story. And then there's a little guy at the back who's like, nice trident. There's always that one guy who oh, orders fish God. and chips. I mean... <laughs> he was having a bad day. I mean, yeah. You know, I've been swimming in this fucking sea for too long, and I'm starving. I want something. Okay, but like, if, whenever people say, like, Aquaman sucks, I just want to bring out that scene in Justice League Throne of Atlantis. Oh, when he summons, no, when he summons a megalodon to kill Black Manta. Oh yeah, okay, I'll try that. But where the hell is he get a megalodon from? He's Aquaman. Like they're extinct. I don't care how cool his powers are. This is bringing them back from the dead. He's resurrecting them. Is that what's happening here? Is he resurrecting things? I don't know who could do that. <sighs> Welcome to the Black Lantern arc. Oh, don't even. That's not there. I hated that. It wasn't bad, but I didn't... Mm, uh, not a fan of Brightest Day, Blackest Night. Again, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Oops, there were connection problems. We lost a whole five minutes of footage because of it. Let's hope we didn't miss any fancy details. Now, let's check back in on our favorite raps, Colleons. Listen, what about that? Who? Spider-Man. He can just walk up and was like... God, I'm having such a bad day. This is just another superhero. Yeah, but you've killed someone, so shut up. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. I haven't killed anyone yet. So. Do you know what I love about this, though? It's like these guys are like 6'1, six, 6'2, six, giant, bulky guys that like keep saving the day. Here comes this 5'10, scrawny kid. Who will lift you up and break you over yeah. his knee and give you a spanking. But like, he, he's gotten married twice. Three times. Three, yeah, three, two or three times. And, like, he's 23. Like, 24. technically, f- from his debut, he's only aged, like, six or seven years. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you know, he's not a bad... You know, he's grey and can, can't move. But then there's a the Captain America who hasn't aged today. Oh, that's different. Captain America's... I feel like Captain America is one of those characters that is just like, oh no, something bad happened. No, no. Friends to back well, me up. They'll save my no. ass. Okay, okay. We are in the age of Hydra Cap. Hail, gr- I hail Hydra. When she whispers the one thing you've always wanted to hear, <laughs> hail Hydra. Like, whenever I have to whisper in someone, it's like, quick, say something. Fuck it. Hail Hydra. I've done that in a speech before. <laughs> Some, like... Uh, Okay, so what happened was I was on the like I was meant to start it because you know I knew how I wanted to go from it, but I didn't know how to start it. Someone I forgot who it was. Someone's like someone yelled, "Go and say something," and I'm like, "Hail Hydra," and then I just continued on with my speech. Oh wait, I think I I heard that speech. Best I think. Speech I've ever done. Like well, I heard something. I completely, I completely forgot what it was about, bro. Mm-mm. Something to do with like I think it was I think was it I don't, I don't know probably science knowing me all my orals are like either English or science what the hell mm. oh, I hate vibrating noises I hate vibrating mm. I can hear it oh I hate it so much I can't stand them that's like if I was a superhero I'm immortal I'm the best I'm invincible as soon as I hear a vibration I'm on the floor crying that would be 
terrible. That would be the worst comic book ever. I mean, that's what. Uh... I mean, let's be honest. That's most people's like weakness. Hey, you're really cool. What's your weakness? Oh, stone. <laughs> what do you mean? And then it's just Captain America and Spider Man, you know? Bullets. Other people with superpowers. Oh, uh, you know. It, it's some rare. What, like, people with superpowers are like, what's your, wow, your weakness is some super rare material that is like non existent. Wow, that's so cool. You're indestructible after that. You get people like normal people that just you know, have gadgets and stuff. Wow, what, what do you, what's your weakness? Anything. Anything. <laughs> If, like, if I if I fall I'm from high enough, is nothing. So if I fall from high enough, I'm dead. And then, oh, would you look at that? Spider Man's like, oh, would would you look at that? My one hand is is carrying my whole body weight. Yeah, can you guys do that? Okay, I think the most stupid thing that I hate about Spider Man is the fact that like his stickum powers are frictionless. Oh, look, you leave him alone. He's beautiful. Dude, dude, dude sticks to windows. How? Magic. No, no, I'm at science. Oh, uh, there was a, there was, I forgot, I made this, uh, I didn't make this, but I kind of thought of this. I'm like, you know, at the bottom of his feet, because clearly he's going to be wearing thick shoes, right? Well, what he does is, he makes like a special, you know, like his spider webby stuff. He puts okay. little drops of that on his, the bottom of his shoes to help him. I know, but he's been doing it for years, so like, back in the day... I'm talking like you know, far back in the day when, like before he, like when he was still low budget. Yeah, um, webs dissolved in an hour. Hour, and now they're like a day. Or like not a day, but they last pretty long. No, like he, he, he genuinely said they lasted an hour, and then like the very first upgraded upgraded goal was to make it last four hours, which is really unnecessary. But hey, yeah, like that that was the best he could do. Yeah. Like, because he wanted more. Didn't he try and sell it at one point, but no one wanted it? I think it was like, I, the, oh, I think if I remember correctly, because part of my knowledge is immense. He tried selling it to like one of the building companies, but they didn't, it didn't last long. I think I heard something about that. I don't know. I know, t- I, I know everything about Spider Man. There's nothing you can't ask me that I don't know. Guaranteed. 100%. Okay, do you know what I hate about Spider Man? What? Spider Verse. Mm, come on, leave Spider Verse alone. No, I don't think you understand. Hated Spider Verse. No, it was cool. Shut like, up. How about, about Spider Verse when, like, you know, the guy, the, the steampunk Spider Man who just controlled time, whatever it was? Okay, no, the Spider Men are cool. Like, that, that's a great aspect. Oh, but, like, the story with, with more Luna. Yeah. Water. Is there, I want like, a way to say this. I want to get this from Stan Lee. Someone, like, how do I pronounce this? What's the pronunciation? Well, I mean, there's no umlaut over the U. So, so, it been, so it'd make so, it more lu? No, make it lun. So it's lun, okay. If, if I had the umlaut, like the two dots oh, over the yeah, U, okay. that would make it more loon. Okay, so it's more lun. Yes. That is the so, prevailing theory. I mean, until we get, like, specification, like, you know, some yeah. guy just comes out of nowhere from Apple's like, no, you know, this is how you pronounce it. Turns out everyone was wrong. Pronounced completely different. There's no, there's not even an M. Yeah, it's actually Martin. Yeah, it's 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 Martin Luther King. Like guys, you guys suck. <laughs> and they're like, the next one like something they would do. But think about it like this: like the whole saga was, we're gonna kill these spider. I think what they had a name for it, spider something. I can't remember because I... they had a name for it anyway. My point is. Mulan comes out of nowhere and is like, I'm going to kill souls and stuff. Because, you know, he's hungry. And I'm like, what? I need some other stuff, man. Okay, so it all started with the amazing Spider-Man coming home. Come, coming home. Coming home. Tell New York I'm coming. Well, yeah, New York. I was about to say, like, Amsterdam. Ah, uh, yes. I'm, Tell Amsterdam know. that Spider-Man is back. Like, I don't know why Amsterdam came to mind, but Amsterdam. Oh, the six-armed Spider-Man, the mutant guy who just, you know, was so cool. Oh, wait, like that guy. I don't remember him. No, that was the thing. Um, he created a tonic to make him stronger. No, 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 this guy, the guy I just sent, not the six-armed. Oh, oh, that guy. I don't remember this guy. I don't remember him either. Was he even? Because I look up Spider-Verse, because, you know, I'm going into images. Um, where is it? I'm looking through all... Oh. 
Aquaman is oh, possibly man. the second gayest superhero or villain. Whoa, man, that's that's way out of line. I know. Aquaman is actually like. It's probably the sixth. No, I'm kidding. no. Le- legitimately, Aquaman is top three superheroes. I mean, he's pretty strong. No one gives him credit for like being pretty good. Like it's him, Nightwing, and Hawkeye. Top three. Ah, uh, in your opinion. I was yeah, gonna say this is canon, right? That that's in ascending order. So like, I don't know. I kind my, of I, look. I don't really. Look, f- I don't mind Hawkeye, but he's not really. The- my favorite is Hawkeye. Second favorite Nightwing. Third favorite Aquaman. Okay, what about Hawkeye? Do you love so much? Uh so. Oh, I just realized who that robot guy I sent was. Remember the chick? So this is um, this one of the universes. So there's a chick, right? She gets her like there's a mech. She's got to ride the mech, but she needs this little spider that she talks to. Uh-huh. Right? I think, is that her name? I think it is. Let me look. There's one chick that's like that called Anya. A-N-U? No, A N U? No, A R. Shit, I can't remember. Hold on. R N Y A. A R N Y A, maybe? A R N A? A R Y N A. Okay, we'll try Anya Spider Man. So, so we get. No, it- that. Oh, okay, that's porn. That is, that is no, 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 that's, uh, no, that is, oh, that's bondage. Okay, that's enough. That's that's enough. Um, let's let's just forget I I ever said anything. I'm not, I can't unsee that. For whatever reason, you know that chick from Frozen who can, like, make ice or whatever? You mean Elsa? Right. She was getting bondage by Spider-Man because logic. I mean, that's oh, common knowledge. Right? That happens in the comics. Like, it's, it's, it's actually just an alternate universe. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. The Spider Man swings in and he's just like, oh, my favorite princess. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And then he becomes French and goes, wee oui, wee, oui, croissant. Oh, yes, that's the only thing that French people are capable of saying. I mean, no, they can say, oui, oui, baguette. Croissant. Croissant and baguette. Give them some credit. They can say two things. Oh, my God. I'm just going to get off Google. <laughs> Until I can find something else for searching, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop there. Anyway, wait, what were we talking about? Like the spider, I don't know, Hawkeye and how shitty, I mean, good he is. Well, no, because like... They've attempted to make his comics a lot more real as of late. So, like, his wounds are a lot more realistic. Like, he gets shot. He's out of commission for, like, forever. Like, no, he not. gets shot. That's the thing. Hawkeye is like that guy. He's like, oh, I just got shot. I'm going to be down for a few days. A few days being three, you know, three pages, right? Yeah, like, it's like, oh, look, someone just popped back up. I, I should help. No, like, you're no. injured. But wait a second. The comic book compels me. Is that like yeah. most comic books now? Oh, wow. Here he comes. We weren't expecting him. Hawkeye X Machina. He saves everyone with this one arrow. Okay, no. He no. pulls out of his arse. The, the most Hawkeye's ever done to save anyone was his death during the Skrull invasion. Yeah, okay. Actually, that was a pretty cool death. I mean, no, not his death. I don't really like the Skrull invasion. Like, don't get me wrong. It was all right in the way they... This has been happening for years. No one has known. I'm like, eh. Okay, yeah, that that bothered me. Obviously. You're gonna you're gonna tell me after all these years, like the scrolls were that thorough. I mean, mm, I mean, the like, alien race, sure, but of yeah. all people, why start with Electra? I mean, why not? And then you get the hybrids, like the different, like they mashed up all the heads or something. It's like different mm. scrolls, so it's like half Spider-Man, half whatever. Yeah, that annoyed me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm. Just, I'm mm. <clears throat> it was. Uh, it, it annoyed me. I feel like most of this is for us just saying all the things we hate about comic books. <laughs> Not all the like, positives. They they do things so right, but then they just come to those times where you sit and you go, "Why would you? Why would you even? Why? Give us a reason why." As a viewer, I want a reason for the idiot. Oh, then there's just lazy writing. Yeah. Uh, mm. Like I, movies I, in particular, not even just comic books, like movies. No, okay, I feel like if you want good comics, ultimate uh, ultimate storyline. Like Oh yeah. I, good. I I rip on the ultimate wave. 
But oh. all in all, the Ultimate series was fantastic. It was. Spider-Man Ultimate. Um, wasn't Iron Man... Was Iron Man the edition? Huh? Uh, the I Wait, was that... She, was she Ultimate... Like the chick who was just as smart as he was? I, no, that, that's 616. That's 616. That like, that's mainstream. That's mainstream now. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure Iron Man was there for like the ultimate one. I forgot what he did, though. Yeah, he was, he er, er, uh, he, has, he had a tumor in his head. That's what it was. I was going to say he had cancer. He has his... a tumor. Yeah. And it, was, it was a tumor the size of a golf ball. But then, okay, I, I love this. Like, I don't know why, but this actually is, I, I like this. Serum X Machina. Okay, no. So, you know extremists? Right, yeah. The extremist that, thing that gives that him... That affects his shoulders. brain. It affects his brain. And it brings the tumour to life. And, oh, that's right. And, it becomes like... A, it's, it's, in the, oh. it's a child, Tony. Yes, and then it turns out to be like a stone the whole time. What yeah. Was it, the, the, I think, some, so, I think was that's... the reality stone or something? I can't remember, but... um. Uh, I think it was the sac- yellow one. It was the yellow it's, one. It sacrificed himself by... Riding a nuke <laughs> to the point where it blew up. Yeah, like that made me so happy. Yeah, just reading this with the biggest smile. Like, <laughs> that was so cool. I was. Do you read these in physical or online? Uh, most of the Ultimate series I've had to read online, except the Spider Man's. For me, I've had to read everything because there's no comic book stores. Yeah. Is there? Well, I don't think there is. Uh, Melbourne. That's, oh. closest, that's the closest we got. I gotta look that up. Give me a sec. Oh, look, I found. Oh. Okay, best comic book store in Melbourne, Minotaur. Min- oh. Minot- Minotaur bookstore. Oh, wow. Minotaur. Like back to? Um, I found it. Minotaur comics, yeah. Iron Man's tumor. And how, oh. like, it turned out to be like a stone and stuff. It's pretty cool. What the hell? Ultimate, is it now? Yeah, it was like. <laughs> It was like pre ultimatum, ultimate series. Yeah. Uh, of course. I, like, Iron Man has his golf ball sized tumor in his head. And, um, Why? Because he does. Um, comic books. Like, Extremis brings that tumor to life in the form of like a child Tony. Yeah, but and, I like, love by the end of it. What does it turn out to be? The stone. The What's the yellow stone? What's it called? What's the yellow infinity stone? Oh, um... What? God damn it, computer, come okay. on. Do you know what's bothering me about the MCU currently? What? what? Bothering? Yeah, bothering me about the oh, MCU. Yeah. Here it is, it's what, reality. Um, yeah, it was really, I was right, okay. it wasn't reality. So, um... You know how power is red? Yeah. Yeah. In the MCU, Isn't everyone's it? calling purple the power stone. I thought purple oh, that's the, the one galaxy. in Guardians. Yeah, that's the one yeah. in Guardians. That's one in Guardians. Yeah, yeah, and galaxy? everyone's just calling everyone's calling it purple, and it's like no, the ether, the red one, is power. There's so many different variations. I've got one that says red's power. Yeah, red is power. Well, it would have like, changed a couple times at least. Yeah, green, green is time. The Infinity green. Gauntlet was like made for like the story, right? No, green is space, isn't it? I was always told it was no, it's time because that's the Eye of Agamotto. Oh, yeah, strange. no, you're right. But I think it depends, because I'm looking at comic books now that, that, like, comic book strips that says otherwise. I think it just depends on the things. Like, what, do you, what do you guys think about the um, Venom movie Sony's making that they're uh, saying is an MCU and everyone else is saying isn't? The Venom movie? Yeah. Let me take a look at this. Is there, like, is, is there, like... Is what? it going to be in the MCU? That's what, like, Amy Pascal, like, the head of Sony, she's saying it's in the MCU and Kevin, uh, Kevin Feige's, like... It's not. Shh. No, it's not. Wait, wait, wait. Tom Hardy will play Venom in Spider-Man. Yeah, one. yeah. That one? Oh, that reminds me. And it's absolutely pissed me off. No, here wow. we go. What's on, Randall and Jamie's part? Let's, let's, uh, let's hear this. Come on. Tom Holland cast as Nathan Drake for the movie. Tom Holland? Yeah, yeah what is that? Sp- Spider-Man is going to play Nathan Drake. Wait, let me look, oh, up, to, wait, let me look has, up Tom Holland. way too young. It is, I know. But, like, the thing is, it's based off the uh, first game. That guy. So, like... He's 21. Yeah, I know. Nathan Drake is, like, late 30s. Wait, Nathan Drake? Yeah. Is he playing... Wait, is he playing Nathan Drake? Yes, he's the main character of Uncharted. 
What? He's way too young. It's no, the... yeah. No, that's that. No, no. I mean, everyone's no. like Mark Wahlberg, Chris Pratt, people like that. Um, and it's like, oh my god. Oh, Mark Wahlberg. I don't know. Mark Wahlberg. Ah. Look, I can say, but at the same time, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Chris. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt. I don't know about Mark. My Wahlberg. English is getting worse. Leave me alone. I don't know about Walk Mulberg. Oh my god, Walk Mulberg. <laughs> We're all doing it now, I've infected you. I don't know about Walk Mulberg. I don't know if he'd make a good Mason Drake. But then we got, like, I think the only other cast that could possibly be controversial like that is to be um, the Last of Us movie. Where, like, the leading cast is uh, seems to be Hugh Jackman and Ellen Page, but everyone's probably going to be like, nope. That's like perfect though. I know. That's like legit who they like modeled after. Wait, at least what's this? Like, I stopped listening for a bit because I was looking at, at stuff. At least uh, Ellie was modeled after Ellen Page. That's Wait, what's it, this? right? Ellie? Like yeah. Last yeah, that's true, yeah. I'm so confused. What's this? Yeah, I remember that because Last of Us came out and Ellen Page was like, like using my likeness was how I sent. And then she was on, uh, oh, what's that game she was in? Like Beyond Two Souls, whatever? Yes. Yeah. It, it was like no one cared. No one cares. No, you know. No, one, no one cared about it at all. So the moment that you had those like big robots or something. No, what? Wait, what's this? What are you? Th- what are you um, talking about? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Beyond Two Souls. It's by the Beyond? people who made like Heavy Rain and uh. Oh, what's the other one they made? Beyond. Uh, Detroit Steel. Oh, what's the- Oh, oh, they made the other game. I haven't. I've never seen Beyond Two Souls till just now. No, exactly. That's because like, it was that game. It was like everyone got really hyped over it, and then when it came out, nobody gave a shit. Yeah. That's the thing. I didn't even know this existed till just now. Holy crap! Yeah, uh, Last of Us completely overshadowed it. Sounds about right. Wait, was that in 2017? What? Beyond Two Souls. Oh, that's 2013. Yeah. I, I, 2013 was insane. 2013 was crazy because it had it had GTA, Bioshock, and Last of Us all in the same year. As Jamie mutes himself to do God knows what, Ahmad and Dela are left alone. Let's check on what our heroes are doing without their trusted ally. Okay, what is Detroit Steel? Uh, I can't explain it. It's like you know Blue Beetle. Yeah. Like, look up Detroit Steel. It should give you some. I back. did. Okay, good. TV show? No, not TV show. Look up Marvel. Okay, wait, I think I found it. That thing. It's figure eight or something. Wow. I, can, I look up Detroit Steel and I find. I'm, I'm finding Lego. I don't want Lego. I think Jamie would know more than I would. Jamie to come back so we can talk about Detroit Steel. Ten minutes pass, but Jamie still hasn't returned. Where the hell is Jamie? Is he getting my coffee or something? Alright, let me just spam him. He'll have to pick up. Give me a second. Apparently I'm too spicy. Discord's telling me I'm far too spicy. You know, you know you're doing something right when Discord's telling you to far too spicy. This video to uh the to my channel in the banana cast. Like oh, yeah. cross, cross promotion. Yeah. But um, I mean so I guess called? this is I guess this is Banek has six, but it doesn't feel like a Oh, because the whole crew is on the air, that's why. I guess, yeah. I don't know, maybe this is too long to be a Banek. This, this is a new series. This... Oh, yeah, this is the us. What do we call this? The Jamie... We've talked about comics for a majority of this, so I'm guessing this is meant to be like a, uh, this is meant to be like a comic-focused thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We can always get a comic and just get it. Yeah. I guess that can be like the main. But I feel like eventually we'll get tired of talking about it and then we'll start random events. That's the thing. Me and Jamie will never get tired of of talking about it. You know what? I guess. I think think that's kind of funny, actually. If we have a comic book, like, if we have a podcast about comic books that has, like, a comic book name, and then, like, by episode 10, we're talking about, like, something completely different every episode. Oh, yeah. By the end of it, we're talking about, like, prostitution or something. Yeah, and it's called, like, it's called, like, hot off the. Press. I don't, what's a comic book phrase we could use? Because they're all podcasts already. The Weekly Pulls a podcast. I know that. 
Wait, so what do, wait, what do you want? Comic book what? Comic book. We can call it Snicked. We can call right. it Snicked the podcast. Comic book podcast. We can. No, no, call it a podcast name. That's not going to come up as anything. That's going to come up as actual. Okay, he's. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to merge them. I'll merge Com- them? He's... Comic Com- balloon. Comic balloon? Yes, comic balloon. No, it can't be an it can't be an, an existing f- like name. It has to be a phrase. I just came up with that. Comic Sunday comics. It's gotta be a catchphrase or something. Um, it's Aquaman's Greek catchphrase. Sunday. Oh, what's an Aquaman? What's Aquaman's catchphrase? Because you guys like Aquaman a lot, and you've probably spent like a like a third of this video talking about Aquaman. Let's see. I just looked it up. Aquaman's catchphrase is. If it'll if it'll come up, never mind. Let me go into images instead because that was porn. Why do I seem to get a lot of porn on this? Why did you take that look at? Um, Walla Beluga. Walla Beluga. Yes, we call this. How do you spell that? I have no clue. Walla Beluga. No, wait, no, Comic Beluga. Comic Beluga. We're not calling this Comic Beluga. This episode can be called Walla Beluga, but we're not calling it Comic Beluga. Why? I bet Jamie will come and have a perfect name. Probably. We should wait for him if he comes back. The official Aquaman Jet Ski podcast. Yeah, we specifically talk about Aquaman, nothing else. <laughs> uh, oh, what's okay, a cool Jamie, name? Back. Yeah, what's a cool name for this podcast? Because Amin and I decided this is not tech. This is not a banana cast. <laughs> This is a different. This is a new podcast. This is going to be on the channel. Um, it's got, we we just had, we decided it had to be a comic related phrase, so that by like episode five, when we're talking about something completely different, it'd be like it. The name would have nothing to do with it. Uh, Bamf. Bamf. Like B A M F. Yeah. Bamf. Like, yeah. like badass motherfucker. Yeah, like Nicko. Bamf. Yeah, I said snicked. Uh, how about I love how both just going with X Men related? Yeah, well, I was thinking of soundtracks. Oh, what would you say, Ahmed? What was Aquaman's catchphrase? Wait, what? Wait, no, I, I came up with that. That was not actually a catchphrase. Oh, because I couldn't find I'm a one. Trick me. I'm a trick. I, me. <laughs> I told him Walla Beluga was uh, Aquaman's catchphrase because I couldn't find one. Oh my I came God. up with one. I mean, if we went by Brave and the Bold, his catchphrase would be outrageous. Oh. Yeah, but no. Outrage. That's a pretty good thing. No, that's dumb. If we if you put outrageous, yeah, outra- in my life. Outrageous. Outrageous. And we can have uh, we can get outrageous. like outrageous. I can like isolate John DiMaggio saying outrageous, and that can be our intro. Sure. <laughs> oh god. Are we, is it, okay. Are we the outrageous podcast? No, we can't. That name sucks. If we if we can't put the in podcast around it, it just has to be outrageous. What happened to Walla Beluga? <laughs> Walla Beluga sucks. That's what the episode's called. Walla Beluga sucks. This is, this is outrageous exclamation mark episode one. Walla Palooza. How about Comic Palooza? You said no to that. Comic Palooza? Because that sounds weird. What's a Palooza? I don't know. What's a Walla Palooza? <laughs> an exaggerated event. This is a very exaggerated event. For I mean, sure. this is an exaggerated comic book event. Comic book event. Um, oh, I found it. I found out. Look, crisis found- on outrageous earth. No, yes. No, no, this, this is the thumbnail. Look at the thumbnail. I just. <laughs> oh yes, holy. Okay, we're out. We're the outrageous podcast. That image is. Okay. Welcome <laughs> to outrageous with your hosts. Who are you, people? I'm Dale. I'm Jamie. It's me, the Joker. And armored. <laughs> and armored. Yes, my I'm name is we're doing, I'm gl- we're doing the intro at, like, the end. Hey, guys, I'm walking down to the Outrageous Podcast. We're here to talk about our well, The last 20 minutes is going to be us deciding on a name. Yes. It's going to be, like, 15 minutes of comic talk, and then, <laughs> like, 45. Up, like, uh, okay, uh, we'll go, okay. Uh, What's okay. the biggest news so far, like, out of, out of this whole month or year? Like, what's the biggest comic book news? Um, DC making a good movie. Where? Which one? 
Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. That's not a good movie. Like, no, it was, like, genuinely good. No, I refuse to believe it. It annoys me that, it annoys me that, they, that they made a Wonder Woman movie before making, like, I don't know, a Flash movie. Wonder Woman's way more popular than The Flash. I don't care. The Flash is better than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was the first standalone female comic ever. She was not. Her first comic yeah. book was her go running off with a man. There's no way she's in the... No, but it's still, she's still, like, the first, like, one. Still annoys me. Like, I, don't, I have nothing against Wonder Woman. Great character. That, come on, she's, they made a movie for her. She's the third most popular DC char- or DC hero, at least. I don't care. She'd probably be like fourth or fifth if you can like Joker. I don't care. She's not good enough. She's not good enough for a movie yet. And that's Aquaman yeah, with an eye patch. Aquaman. Anyways, okay, we have we have like an hour and like twenty minutes worth of footage. I think we should I think should wrap this up for tonight. All right then. So, we did the Fair intro enough. five minutes ago. Let's do the outro now. Um, uh, okay. Dale. Oh, d- that's Dale. This is Jamie. I'm this not Jamie. Up, I'm Jamie. That I'm guy's cool. Jamie. And I'm Ahmed. And this was Outrageous. That Outrageous. Outrageous yeah. podcast, episode one. Yeah. Episode, uh, how many episodes do we think this is going to go for before we get bored or before we just sit here like, why do we do this? Nine. Who are you? Just a man or a superman? The man we turn to for the plan. Just a man or a superman, the man.